Hey class, welcome to 9.1, Points, Lines, Planes, and Angles, Part 1. So we're going to have three different videos with this section. The first one, we're just going to talk about some general geometry vocabulary. This is all review, but these are things you do need to know. And if you prefer, you can look in your book and see pictures of all these as well. I'm just going to write a few of these down. Write down as much as you need to. If you didn't know something, that's when you should write it down. All right, anyways, point. A point looks like this. It's just a single dot on a surface. A line has arrows on either end and it goes through at least two points. And with I, when I have a point, I name it the like the spot and the number. When I have a line, that would be the drawing of it and the name of it would be line A, B and you draw a little symbol above it with arrows. Array has two points as well, but it just starts at one and goes through, so it just has a single ray. And we always name it, when you name a ray, you start with the letter that it starts with. So for example, if it went this way instead, that one would be named ray B A instead. So the first letter is always the one it starts at. Then we got a segment. A segment is just a segment between two points. Notice a line has arrows, segment does not. So a line keeps going and goes to every number on the number line and the segment is only the numbers within those two spots. And th the way we write it would be segment AB with a little line, so no arrows. Next, a plane. A plane is a surface like a tabletop or a deck of cards or something like that. A plane is always named with three points and you can use any three points that are in the plane. I'm just going to go back and be a little bit more specific here. Okay, so here's what the picture would look like and what I'm giving you here is the name if I was to write down the answer to an assignment. Last piece of vocabulary you need to remember are skew lines. All right, so let's just review really quick. You may, I know you already know what parallel lines are, which is why I didn't say it already. Parallel lines are two lines that are in the same plane that never touch. It is actually possible for you to have two lines. Let's say I had a little cube and I was going to use this line right here and this line right here. Now you can kind of visualize on the picture one of them is way back here it's never going to touch this one but these are in different planes so they're considered skew lines. So different planes never touch are skew same plane and they never touch are parallel. Let's just practice a little bit with our vocabulary quick. So for our first example, we're just going to identify each using the vocab we just talked about. And I'm going to draw little pictures. So here's my first one. So the question is, what is that that I just drew? I notice it has no arrows. So that is segment PQ. All right, here's my next picture. So for this one, I notice there are arrows, so that one is a line, and that is line PQ. All right, that's it for our general vocab. Let me know if you got any questions.